Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. The Indian variety is 60% more transmissible than the Kent form. 2. South Korea's Air Force head resigned as a sex assault investigation. The United Kingdom. The Indian variety is 60% more transmissible than the Kent form. According to one of Britain's best experts, the COVID-19 version, which was first discovered in India, is 60% more transmissible than the Kent variety. Professor Neil Ferguson, an epidemiologist at Imperial College London, noted that the B16172 type, often known as Delta, might spread anywhere from 30% to 100% more easily, with a central estimate of approximately 60%. He emphasized that this week's data was more negative than previous weeks, raising worries about whether the government will be able to proceed with the final relaxation of lockdown on June 21. Many scientists were concerned that a 60% increase in transmissibility would be too much. It will also raise new concerns about why the government did not act sooner to place India on the red list of countries whose entry into the UK is restricted. At the time, the best estimate is that this variety is 60% more transmissible than the Alpha, Kent, form. There is some ambiguity surrounding that. Depending on assumptions and how the data is analyzed, it may be anywhere from 30% to 100% more transmissible. However, the majority of persons who are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. The data is pointing this week in a more negative manner than it was last week. He said when asked if the lockdown limitations should be lifted on June 21. South Korea. South Korea's Air Force head resigned as a sex assault investigation. The head of the South Korean Air Force resigned on Friday following the death of a female master sergeant who was reportedly sexually harassed by a colleague and had her concerns ignored. The episode has sparked outrage in the South which, despite its economic and technical advancements, maintains a conscript army to defend itself against the nuclear-armed North and is strongly patriarchal. The master sergeant, identified only by her surname Lee, is said to have been assaulted by her colleague in a vehicle in March, according to the Defense Ministry. She filed a complaint, but according to her family, her supervisors encouraged her to abandon the case and negotiate a settlement. She was subsequently relocated to a separate base at her own decision, where she was discovered dead late last month in her quarters. Her family claims she recorded her own death on her phone. Around 350,000 people had signed a petition to the president's office by Friday afternoon, demanding for a thorough probe. The case's suspect was apprehended earlier this week, and the investigation is still ongoing. President Moon Jae-in promptly accepted the resignation of Air Force Chief General Lee Seong yong on Friday. The woman's death comes as the debate over whether or not the South's all-male conscription should be abolished heats up. Military service in South Korea has long been marred by barrack room bullying and other types of abuse, which have resulted in many suicides and lethal shooting sprees in the past. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.